Assalamualaikum, my dear students. I hope all of you are fine and doing well. So, topic here we are going to discuss it is the nitric acid. Basically, the nitric acid it is also known as the oxy acid, and this is the oxy acid of the element nitrogen. And the simple formula of the nitric acid we have HNO3, in which the one nitrogen is having three oxygen atoms and one hydrogen atom and nitrogen is a central atom of all that which is having double bond with one oxygen and all other having the single bond with the different atoms so the nitric acid here you can see that by looking up it is looking as the colorless liquid but the one thing you must keep in mind that it is very difficult to handle that because we have to handle it with careful because it is highly flammable it can catch the fire easily on the other hand it is really corrosive to the skin of the human beings so that's why it must be handled with the care now what are the main properties but before the start of the properties we must know that how do we prepare the nitric acid this is the method for the preparation of the nitric acid when we are going to prepare the nitric acid in the laboratory it is just happened by simple heating of the potassium nitrate where the potassium nitrate its formula is KNO3 its crystals are used when they do react with the sulfuric acid and sulfuric acid is as H2SO4 and here the sulfuric acid we are going to take it in the concentrated form and here we have its simple chemical formula in which KNO3 is in the solid state as potassium nitrate it got reacts with the sulfuric acid by producing three products the number one is potassium sulfate or bisulfate along with the production of the nitric acid which is HNO3 so here this method is only used at the small scale production of the nitric acid or in the laboratory but on the larger scale production we use the second method for its preparation which is called as the manufacturing of nitric acid by Birkland or Iris process now what this process is have having the different steps the first one is the formation of the nitric oxide before the start of this process we need to form the nitric oxide which is as NO how do we prepare this first of all we use the nitro that is present in the atmosphere along with the oxygen they are combined and they give the nitric oxide in an electric arc or in electric discharge and at the temperature over there will be 3000 degrees Celsius which is a very high temperature nitrogen reacts with the oxygen and produces nitrogen oxide the, now this nitric oxide or nitrogen oxide it got reacts with the oxygen so this is the first step the formation of the nitric oxide after its formation we have the second in which the nitrogen oxide reacts with the oxygen and it combines with oxygen here the temperature will be 600 degrees Celsius and it will form the nitrogen dioxide so here we have the first method this is the second method after the production of the nitrogen dioxide now this nitrogen dioxide in the third step it absorbs the water and it gives the dilute nitric acid here the nitric acid and this is the nitrous acid this nitric acid is very dilute along with the nitrous acid production now the last one or the fourth one step over there we have this nitrous acid reacts with the or is going to oxidize the nitric acid and the nitric oxide which is reoxidized and it produces the nitric acid the nitric oxide and the water molecule so this method can be used at larger scale production for the manufacturing of the nitric acid because here we are going to use the nitrogen which is present in the atmosphere as well as the oxygen so we are not having any type of the reactant that we have to just buy and used for this process so we just have to keep it in mind that here, here the electric arc must be of 3000 degrees Celsius this is the main thing that we have to gain for this process after this process now what is the main mechanism of 
the nitric acid from the air here we have its a simple pictorial way the first one here we have this is the electric furnace which is having the charge of almost 3000 degree celsius and the nitrogen which is present in the air here we have nitrogen and the oxygen they got react and produces the nitrogen oxide this nitrogen oxide is also called as the nitric oxide now it goes to the cooler part of that big lens or add this process and in this process now the nitrogen oxide after cooling out it reacts with the oxygen this chamber is called as the oxidizing chamber and it produces nitrogen dioxide this is nitrogen dioxide after the production of the nitrogen dioxide now it will goes to the chamber which is the absorption chamber here it absorbs the water molecule and produces the HNO3 this is the basically main absorption tower and the waste gases are that are produced along with this they are evolved and removed and over there we have the water sprinkles from the top and at the end we gain this nitric acid now this nitric acid also has some production of the nitrous acid it then reoxidize and produces the nitric or nitric acid which is now concentrated acid so this was all about the simple preparation method or the manufacturing of the nitric acid from the air i hope you guys understand and if you have any queries you may ask me about that in the comment section and i will get back to you guys soon the next topic that we will discuss it is the properties of the nitric acid now in the next section we will learn about its physical properties as well as about its chemical properties for that time you guys keep learning and have a good day